Hello, hello guys. Welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Ninja Boxing. And like I always say, please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and select all. So I'm gonna drop a new banger, a new exclusive video. You will definitely be notified. And to my Ninja brothers, then I go that tip because I'm gonna like the video, share, subscribe. Sharing is caring. The more you reach our content, the more we they reach out to other Nigerian and African guys out there, you know, or girls out there who want to take up the sweet science and, of course, make something out of it. Because I know Africa, Nigeria, got raw talents wasting in the various countries in Africa. Now, let's get to it. The unified everweight king of the universe and also the only two-time unified everweight ruler in the whole wide world anthony joshua today unveiled okay a double heavy killer whale left hook and a new monstrous uppercut take it or leave it uppercut that's why you know that's what i call it now that uppercut can knock out an elephant okay you think i'm lying take a look at it guys <laughs> so we all know that joshua has got the best uppercut in the every division right now okay no uppercut is as monstrous is as deadly is as you know fascinating as the joshua uppercut but now he's adding a new one to it the murderous uppercut an uppercut that can send you to a coma for maybe a month <laughs> I love it Japanese oh Tajak but your take on that brother after seeing what you just did crazy oh my God, bro and double heavy left hook that is a killer wheel double killer wheel left hook it's <laughs> you know just looking at that alone is it even scares it even scares me you know knowing whoever gets in the ring <laughs> If you act lazy, if you act uh, 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 like you think you're gonna, you're, you're only the only way you're gonna win is to, to go to AJ and get into his um, into his field of vision. That's what you're gonna receive, you know. And I'm laughing because people say, "Oh, who's gonna stand in there in there for for him to to throw that punch like that?" No. no, no. It's not gonna be as you think, you know. That punch, it's not gonna be a, a, a hook and 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 an uppercut. No, it's gonna be combinations, and he'll pick either one he wants to throw at you. You know, of course, Josh is not that stupid to throw a hook and an uppercut in the first round, third round. He's gonna throw it at you when you make a mistake and you're tired. That's when he's gonna do it. You know. And if you think that's not going to land, I mean, look at how Wilder throws his punches and it lands. So who said AJ's punch is not going to land? You know, eventually, you know, if you get if you get cocky and you come close to his not to his field of vision, or you know, around where he 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 measured you enough, he's going to land that. You know, it's just he's just not working for for um, for Pew level alone. He's doing it. He's he's been practicing his craft. And looks like he's getting much, much better at it. And everything he throws is just is just getting dangerous. You know, everything he throws is uh, 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 so much velocity and ferociousness in, in, in those punches. You know, and that's just the taste of it. If you think that's that's what he has, there's so many things. There's so the, the, AJ doesn't get enough credit. The guy is an absolute. When it comes to boxing IQ, his IQ. Is one of the greatest in in boxing, you know, and people forget that. But 
only time will tell until until the the until he lands on somebody and locks him clean out. They'll remember who his name is. Right now, they all, they they still see the Anthony Joshua that for Andy Ruiz. Eventually, they'll see who he is and they'll go. They'll they'll all go back to being afraid of him. That's what I'm gonna. His next fight is probably gonna be against uh, Kubrat Pulev, a fight that we know is not gonna be that easy. Okay. Uh, because Pulev has got a very good jab, he's got a very good ring IQ as well. But Joshua unleashing and let's say unveiling, showcasing the double heavy killer way punch and the most important one, the Mondoros uppercut. That uppercut will knock an elephant and a lion at, uh, out at once, at, one, at, the, at the same time. What do you think Kurepulev feels when he sees that? How do you think he feels when he, I mean, how do you think, what do you think is, what do you think is going through Kurepulev's head right now when he, when he's seen that? I mean, you when he watched that video. You, you see, let, let me tell you about something about uh, Pulev. What he's banking on is to get the same shot and Andy Ruiz got off AJ. That's it. That is absolutely all. But he, once he goes into that ring with Anthony Joshua, and he sees the fast pace and, and the way he boxes. He hasn't boxed. I'm sorry. Pulev hasn't boxed in the league since after uh, um, Klitschko. And he's going to feel that heavy hand of Anthony Joshua. And after that, he's going to be in the ring to survive. That's it. He's going to play dirty as much as he can. But he's gonna be in that ring to survive because he does not want to get knocked out. Absolutely, he does not want to get knocked out because that's a, that's a career-ending knockout for him. Get Pulev, he's slow. I don't even know where he, his jab got slower. His last, you're only as good as your last fight, you know. And what I like about what I like about Anthony Joshua is when his team prepares for him. They help him prepare. I, I just read that Timothy um, uh, Moulton, you know, the guy that helped him prepare for Andy Ruiz. When it came to Anthony Joshua, his team was ready to prepare for him. Like, yo, this is what we need you to do. This is what's going to happen. If you don't do it, you're going home. That's it. If, if people think they're not preparing for Pulev and P, if they think Pulev is going to be that much of a threat, it's not going to happen. That you, you see, I tell people what I realized in boxing, right? If a fighter, if an elite fighter is good, but then goes against somebody that he that is is, is maybe like a, a B-level fighter, and that B-level fighter shows you um, and gets the upper hand of that of that elite fighter. And the, but the B-level fighter doesn't finish or that is not able to actually take him out, that's the only time you're going to see that elite fighter make that mistake again. You know, because you're not... And any other fighter will not capitalize on that on that same mistake in the in the next fight. Oh, let me make... Let, let me see if I can uh, uh, replicate what Andrew Ruiz did. It's not going to happen. I guarantee you that elite fighter fixed that problem and you're not gonna get it if you think that's the only way you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna uh, get that elite fighter to be to, to to lose. It's not gonna happen. I've noticed that in boxing over and over again. And for Pulev to think that's his only shot, he got another thing coming because he's gonna be quite disappointed. And I just feel like he's gonna be going in there to survive. He's gonna go in there to survive. That's it. Thanks, brother. Really appreciate your take on this. And of course, for those of you guys who are watching right now, make sure you like this video, share, subscribe. I always say like, share, subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center, on Twitter at Boxing Block as well, Facebook at Boxing Block Center. Follow me for that because I want to reach 1K so that I go start one new boxing show like that. So, now God, I take big with them. And I jump brothers sisters, you know what I mean? I will not feel big you know, like that because I know, see, what thing they do now it they inspire a lot of upcoming or future champions for Nigeria or business they want to take up boxing because boxing can do a lot for our youth some of our youths back there back home who of course 
uh, kind of like uh, I've, I've kind of given up because they feel like oh we're not feel making all those kind of things like they feel like it's not get support so as I suppose they, they need to they need to uh, need to uh, focus on you know on, on the sweet science you know and of course develop themselves as you know as gentlemen or gentle women or whatever or ladies or whatever I remember so just um like the video share the video but not the share the content ever back Yes, guys, stay tuned for more exclusive bangers out here.